Hi, it's Mr. Crane today. This is Thursday. We are May 20th, 2021. Um, today we're going to be talking about what you need to do with all this data that you've been collecting. Now remember, you've been collecting Monday through Friday. I got rid of the second week. And then you're going to be making a prediction on Saturday and Sunday. Please do not cheat. Do not go to Weatherbug and get a projection for Saturday and Sunday. Um, and call that good. That's cheating. It needs to fall hard on your conscience and your academic integrity. I need you to take your data and make a prediction on what you think Saturday or Sunday is going to be for everything right here. And I need you to present this to me. This is the sheet right here that you're actually going to submit as your assignment. Now I'm going to help you out right now by showing you a little way to to uh, gather some better information using a, a data chart. Okay, so listen to me. This is what you need to do. You need to go up to this field after you filled out everything for Friday and you need to grab this little cell right here. So click in that cell right there. I want you to hold the shift button down on your keyboard and hold the shift button down the whole time. And then I want you to grab the last area right here that includes your Friday measurement. You can do that or you can just grab this right here and then drag all the way down with your mouse. Either way is fine with me. It's going to get the same result. So once you have highlighted all that data, I want you to go up to insert. Now this is provided that you converted this. Every one of you should have taken your Excel document that came with the assignment and gone up to file and go to save as a Google sheet. All right. So you are copy as a Google sheet, make a copy as a Google sheet. So make sure you've done that. Once you've done that, you click in this top cell, hold down the last part of Friday. So your humidity on Friday should be the last thing. Highlight that whole area, then go up to insert, and then you're going to go down to chart. When you go to chart, you're going to wait for a little bit and it's going to make a wonderful little graph like this. And we want to go to setup right here and we don't want stacking. We want to change that to, sorry, let me go to customize here. Double click on this again. You lose it and you double click on it and you come up here and you have a setup. See, it says column chart right there. So if you lose this, if you somehow click off of this and this goes this color, you come back to this and double click on it. When you double click on it, it'll come back up. Go to setup. So you can do customizer setup. Go to setup and it says column chart. We want to go and pick line. So when we go to line, see how that gives us this wonderful temperature, pressure, dew point, wind speed, rainfall, percent cover, cover, Humidity, it doesn't include wind direction because that is not a data. That's not a number. It's, a, it's letters. So the only thing that left you have to do from this is actually go ahead and maybe put some um, put some titles on this thing. So if you go to customize, go to chart access and titles, and it says um, chart title, chart title. What is this whole thing? It's a weather prediction. Weather prediction pops up right there. And I like mine in the middle. So I'm going to put that in the middle. That gives me that. And I can click on horizontal axis. Horizontal axis is this guy here. That looks like days of the week. So I already got it right there. Days of the week. And then last but not least is my vertical. Vertical axis title. This is, looks like just data range. It's a data range from 0 to 100. Okay. So D zero to 100. Now, what can you do with this? Well, if if you highlighted, if you would actually put Saturday and Sunday right here and got word, rid of the word prediction, if you'd have done that, it would have put Saturday and Sunday right here. All right. But tomorrow, when you put in your Friday data, it's going to make another line for this Friday. And you're going to get an idea of what's going to happen this weekend. Now, just looking at our progressions currently, if I looked at a couple of data points only, if I looked at my pressure, my pressure is red right here. My pressure overall has been kind of the same, but if you step back a little bit, you can see that it's 
it even though now it's increasing it's gone from well we had a storm on monday where our, our humidity was at 100 percent we dropped all week long and now we're starting to climb back up and we're back at 100 percent again near 100 percent with our humidity where's humidity away over here we went from 95 99 down to 87 and then are down to 64 and back up to 93 so we're climbing so when we have 100 percent humidity that usually means rain if we have our pressure goes from a 30 range down to the 29s that's going to be a storm but our pressure is showing 29 going down and now it's climbing climbing up into the 30s We'll see what tomorrow holds out, but if it continues to hold out in the 30s, the storm that we've had, it should leave us. Now, we have a lot of cloud cover. If you look, cloud cover. Cloud cover is what? What is clouds? What are clouds? Clouds are water, right? Clouds are water suspended in the air, and they're lighter than uh, the water droplets are lighter than the gas, so they're suspended. And so our cloud cover is 100%. So our humidity can stay a little high because there's a lot of moisture in the air still. It's not at 100. 100 means rain. It's not at 100, but there's still a lot of cloud cover. And our pressure over here tells us that if we continue on this trend, probably going to have some clear skies later. Storms right now. Storms right now. But um, that should maybe clear off. We hope. That's my prediction. We'll see what your prediction holds. So you can extend this tomorrow. Once you put your data in for Friday, this will continue to grow and you'll get an idea what Friday is, which will give you a prediction for Saturday and Sunday. Hope that was helpful. Adios.